Well, I'm here to tell you that I was wrong. And well, at the same time, I was kind of right. Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I have tons of videos on SCR power supplies and using something like this to power a treadmill motor. About three months back, I received a comment that I'm ashamed to admit I argued with. But at the time, I didn't know what I didn't know. If you look on eBay or Amazon, these are listed as SCR voltage controllers. And both of these are AC in and AC out. If you are going to use a power reducing supply such as this, because it is AC in and AC out, if you're going to use it on a treadmill motor, you must use a bridge rectifier. This bridge rectifier is what converts AC into DC. Those videos have helped a lot of people set up their power supplies. There are a ton of treadmill motors being run with similar systems, although I do not recommend using this style of SCR voltage controller. At lower RPMs, this has the pulsing that is not wanted, and it doesn't have quite the low end speed that this one does. This one's going to cost you about twice as much, but it's still less than 30 bucks. And the overall results and the quality of this you will be much, much happier with. So in regards to my error, I received a comment in the comments section on one of my SCR voltage controller videos. I try to get in and read all those comments, so if you have any questions or you have any feedback, please feel free to post a comment because in this particular case, it significantly helped me educate myself. The comment in question was this. One thing that may confuse or mislead people, SCR-based power supplies put out a pulsing DC voltage. No diode bridge needed. I'm a retired electronics tech. Now at the time, I was completely confused because if you go to eBay or Amazon, these are commonly labeled as SCR voltage controllers. So, it stands to reason that the people that are making them and selling them know what they're making and selling. I knew that these units were AC in and AC out. I've tested them with a meter. I knew that the bridge rectifier was required. So I basically fired back and said, you're wrong. These SCR voltage controllers are not AC to DC. They're an AC input and an AC output, and you are mistaken in this particular case. That was based on my limited knowledge and understanding. Then recently, on that same thread of comments, I received a new comment from someone else, and it said, retired guy is actually completely correct. You see the R in SCR stands for rectifier. And then he goes on to quote something from Google. A silicon controlled rectifier, SCR, produces a direct current DC output when connected to an alternating current AC input. This is because an SCR is a unidirectional device that only allows current to flow in one direction, rectifying the AC input. A single SCR produces a pulsing DC output from an input AC waveform. More than one SCR can produce a pulsing DC output or pulsing AC output. Okay, that's a lot. There's a lot to unpack there. Ultimately, the statement that an SCR chip produces DC is correct. But again, these are labeled as SCR voltage controllers, and they produce AC current. And there's one other thing that I found very interesting in the Google specific definition. It says a single SCR produces a pulsing DC output from an input AC waveform. More than one SCR can produce a pulsing DC output or pulsing 
AC output. So I thought, okay, I don't know all the components that make up these controllers. And if there is more than one SCR in there, that would make sense that the power coming in is AC and the power coming out is also AC. So I thought the easiest way to know for sure what is in these is to open them up, take the part number off of the main switching component and look it up, find out what it is. This one right here, of course, doesn't have any labeling on it. There are no numbers, nothing is stamped on it, but this one did indeed have numbering and a label. And when I looked it up, I found that it was a TRIAC and not an SCR. Now, at that point, I was completely confused because I was like, you would think the manufacturer knows what they're selling and they would know that it is a triac based power supply and not an SCR-based power supply. And indeed, if you look this up on Amazon, even one of the links that I offer for people to purchase this says right on it that it's a triac based power supply. But again, there are other ones that say it's an SCR-based power supply. And I'm like, okay, where's the disconnect? What am I missing? And then it occurred to me, I read once again what the definition of an SCR was and how they work. And it said more than one SCR can produce a pulsing DC output or pulsing AC output. And that got me thinking, what exactly is a triac? Is it possible that a triac is nothing more than one chip that contains two SCRs, allowing it to produce AC power? A Google search quickly came back with the results that yes, in fact, a triac, which is what I'm assuming is in here, but I'm not 100% sure, but I know for sure a triac is in here. And yes, a triac is basically two SCR chips those chips work in tandem, so we have AC in and AC out. I hope that clears up some confusion. I really appreciate those comments. Had those comments not been made, I would not have researched this further. That has helped me know more about how an SCR works, how a TRIAC works, how they work in similar ways. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, please put them down in the comment section. I would love to read them. I'm always trying to educate myself. I'm always trying to learn more. I'm always looking for ideas for future videos. And I engage with those that take the time to comment on my videos. At this point, everything gets answered. I at least acknowledge every single comment. So feel free to comment. I would love to hear what you have to say about either of these controllers. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.